Hi babies, I'm getting ready for the wedding. So I already moisturized my face. I used the Drunk Elephant whipped cream. I apologize for the room behind me. It's under construction. Pretend I'm in like a beautiful penthouse. Makes things a lot better. Oh my. Okay, I got it open. So I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Filter in the shade 5 Tan. So as promised, I am giving you guys a tutorial on this wedding look. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm going for like a kind of like um, uh, bronzy vibe, you know. I know this shade doesn't match my skin tone, but as you can see, I'm way tanner here. I use a lot of sunscreen. I absolutely love this freaking flawless filter. Like, I don't even know if it's a foundation. It's very sheer. So that's why I always go a little bit darker because it comes out to literally match my skin tone exactly the same. I usually go for like very glowy looks, honestly. And that's what I thought I was doing today. But I was like, the whole wedding, it's a lot of hours. So I think I'm going to go matte today. It's a big step for me. I don't usually do matte looks. I don't. So wish me lots of luck. Okay, now I'm going in with NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Since I'm doing eyeshadow, I just put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids. So I have a nice base to go off on. Also, excuse the background noises. My house is being so loud for no reason. Um, I don't have any cream bronzers, but I do have uh, liquid blushes. So I'm using this one from Euphoria. It's so pretty. I just dot it on my face and it changes with the pH of your skin. A little bit on my nose too. This is why my beauty blender is so pink because of this blush. Now I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury High Blush. This is the lighter shade. I know everyone always asks me about it. Oh my God, I can't with my parents and this stupid coffee maker. So I just put it in those cheekbones, yeah. A little bit on my um, eyelids too. And then I blend. Okay, now here comes the part that I'm super scared of. Charlotte Tilbury Setting Powder. This is in the shade Fair. And what I would usually do is just set it a little bit under my eyes, but today I'm actually going to bring it down here. <laughs> I just recently bought this setting powder, and I did a little test wear yesterday, and it just held beautifully throughout the day. Like, really did, and I hate matte looks. Okay, I set my face. I'm not a shiny ball anymore. Okay, cool bronzer now, and cheekbones, and all that. I need to look extra snatched today, so I'm also going to do my nose. Last night, I spent like three hours freaking um, steaming my dress. Horrendous experience. But going back, I'm putting my bronzer um, onto my eyelids, just like that. And then I'm just taking it, and I'm literally going down my nose bridge. Now for eyebrows, I'm doing the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. And I'm running out of time, so I'll go to part two.